Hi, I'm Donna D. Berry, and I am the creator of the One Stroke Painting Technique. And tonight, I'm going to um, paint a fun little project with you. So it's all about learning how to lay out a design and layer petals on palm petals. And we're going to paint something that I think you really like. So come join me. And please share with your friends and go to onestroke.com if you want to find any supplies that I'm sharing with you tonight. And see my one stroke classes and everything that's available for you okay so let's go to the overhead camera and we will be painting tulips and more okay so i'm going to come right down here and i have some blue and white a different mix i've got yellow and white i've got some floating medium it's the fluff that's inside painting with no pigment in it okay there we are and we're using multi-surface paints. So multi-surface is uh, folk art one stroke multi-surface paint I'm using. Um, and we are going to be painting a really fun tulip. And so I'm picking up the three quarter inch brush, my one stroke brush. It's got, um, it's lightly dampened and laid on the paper towel before we get started. And I'm gonna lay out my flower first. So I'm gonna cut my tulip first. I'm going to come up and get a tulip shape of a petal and slide back down. All right. Now, the way I did that is I have a V. All right. And then I decide where I want the shape and make it into an arrow. See that? And then I can come here and make that arrow come right here and see where I'm going to start and where I'm going to end. So look at this, I'm gonna start right here and I'm gonna wiggle up a little bit, come down. Now I want more white paint. So I'm gonna bring you over here so you can see a little bit better. I'm gonna come right here, lay the brush down and turn that brush. So look how pretty it looks like I knew what I was doing and I made a great curve there. Now I'm gonna come turn my piece Many of you say, can I turn my, my project? Of course. See, now I came to a point. I pressure, and this is acrylic, folk art, multi-surface paint. Look how pretty that is. Now, I, every time I'm going to come over here and pick up more paint, and I'm going to put another little, with more white. See, I dip more white. Another petal right there. So isn't that pretty? So that's just one of the tulips I want to do. All right. Then I'm going to come right here and let's do a second tulip. So let's do the center one. And remember, I had a V to start with. I keep coming here with the same loaded three quarter inch brush. And this, this paint is creamy. It's like it's made for one stroke. Look at that. They do. This thick, creamy paint is exactly what you need. Now remember, here's my, here's my V. I'm going to start on this line. I'm going to come up. Now I want to dip a little bit more white because I want that ridge. So I push down, I watch my brush, I stand up and I roll it. Isn't that yummy? I love the way that looks. All right. And then I picked up a teeny bit more white. And I'm going to put that there. All right. That petal right there. But look at this. I can then come up and push and roll one. And it looks like that petal kind of fell down. Is that kind of cool? All right, now look what happens. I'm gonna go right in here with the white on the light green. This is citrus green and thick it. All right, so look, I wanna make sure it's really worked in there good. All right, now look what's gonna happen here. I'm gonna grab on the chisel of this brush. There's the chisel. I'm going to grab a little strokes and then I'm going to pull it down. I'm going to grab a little short strokes here and pull it down. All right. So now let's look. I'm going to come back up 
and I'm going, I've got plenty of paint on here. So let's see, there's medium. Let's dip a little bit of medium because we want it to go smooth because I'm going to slide up on the chisel. I want y'all to see that really good. I'm up here on the chisel. See my little finger? Push, stand up, stand up, stand up, and curl. Oh, I went off the top. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to come up a little bit higher so y'all can see it. All right, watch this. I'm going to, I'm leading with the lighter color. I'm going to be up on the chisel. Now watch my brush. I'm laying it down, laying it down. Stand up, stand up, and roll just like I rolled the petals. All right, isn't that nice? Okay. I have so many of you, oop, I picked up the wrong color. I just wiped it off and pick up again. So many of you have said you're loving one stroke. And I come to our group. It's one stroke dot com. Oh, it's Donna Dewberry's favorite one stroke. No. <laughs> Hello. It's Donna Dewberry's official one stroke group on Facebook. Donna Dewberry's official. One stroke group. And what we do is we share lots of painting fun and everything I've got going on. And if you want my product, it's on one stroke.com. All right. One O N E stroke.com. All right. There we are. So now I want to put a really pretty flower in here. Now, not that those aren't pretty, but let's do another one really quick. All right, so I'm going to wash that brush, get it all ready, and I'm going to pick up the blue and white, okay? So blue and white and yellow are really pretty together. I want you to see that I'm going to go right between these two. I washed it all out. I laid it on the paper towel, and I'm going to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You see I'm on my plate, my foam plate, quick and easy. Okay, so see lots of paint. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ruffle a petal. Now I, I keep coming here, laying it flat. All right, these are the back petals. So I'm going to come right here and layer some. petals in the back. All right. So here. Now I'm going to come in front just a little bit. Right here. See, you can see the one in the back and the front. I pick that paint every time up. There. Now I have seven children and 27 grandbabies. And so let me tell you, you have to be able to be quick. And so I love making it really quick and easy because I like to paint a lot and I like to sell my stuff. I'd like to share. Now look. So I put dark green, light citrus green, sap green, and then I tapped. See, I pick up both colors and then I tap, 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 tap. All right. So we also have worksheets. So you can paint with me on here. Like, look, I can paint right here on my worksheet and wipe it off and, and practice again. Okay, and see it's got arrows and the leaves and the flowers, everything you need, onestroke.com, all right? Now, we also have wonderful projects on hsn.com, hsn.com. This is one stroke, Don, and so go look at Donna G. Berry and you can see all kinds of products on HSN for good prices. 
All right. And this is my beginner foundation template. And I show you how to design. And I show you to pick a flower, then pick leaves, pick a filler, and pick insects. So you pick whichever flower to make a, a floral composition. Floral composition. And it's laminated, so you can wipe it. You can do your leaves and practice on here. So you go right on here and practice. Uh, wipe off and practice again. So that's on hsn.com. Okay, there we go. Now, more paint, more. All right, so I'm going to come here and here, and then I'm going to pull down. All right, then there's another small bud. All right, and when you're all done with this, I'd like to leave some of the paint in here. We'll just come right in here, pick it up. And please let me know what you think about the painting, if what you would like to see me paint. And please subscribe and join me. I love having you guys out there. All right. There we go. Watch that leaf. That's one of the leaves we just practiced. There. All right. Very fun. Come join me next time. I'll be doing more flowers, more exciting strokes.